You mentioned spending time with your kids. I heard this stat, and I'm wondering when you hear it, what do you think? The stat was that you spend 90% of your time with your kid between the day he's born and your kid's 13 years old. And then from then until the day you die will just be that you'll only spend 10% of that time with your kids. So to get in as much as you can in the beginning, does, does that resonate with you at all? Does that like, Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. 13, they kind of fly the coop. They do. And then what happens, um, you know, wait till they get a car and then you never see them. Right. So, but that's exactly the age, you know, um, and I'm probably going to fumble this, but you know, 13 is, is when the Jewish religion, Jewish tradition does the bar mitzvah in, in, you know, in their history, that's when the child started either effectively became an adult or started to become an adult. And that's, that's what is happening when they turn, you know, 13, they are now a teenager and yeah, their friends are going to, and it, it, it sucks. I mean, I hate to say it for you, but you know, their friends become more important and, and, um, and school gets a little tough. You know, my daughter had a hard time in middle school. The girls got real clicky and they were backbiting each other. And it was, it was a tough first year of middle school, sixth grade. Um, but yeah. And then, and then one of my friends said, uh, at one point when his son turned 13 or 14, he's like, he's like, I only have three or four more years till my son's not living in our house anymore. And that, that hits you, man, because when they're 18 and they head off to college, you know, they may be back for some summers, but the way life is now, not all summers, you know, I came home almost every summer when I was in college, but now it's different. Uh, kids are more independent, I think, and they work more um, or they have different opportunities in the summer. So yeah, you're, you know, while you got them at home, enjoy it. <laughs> And the second question, which is really closely tied to that first question, what's the difference between a boy and a girl, is um, what's the difference between a first child and a second child? And you sort of touched on that about being more protective of the first child. But can you kind of go into maybe give some details of things you didn't allow your, your son to do that you allowed your daughter to do? Right. So, um, you know, I just think – I know it's a long time ago. Is your brain just reeling? It's like, wait, yeah, yeah, you no, go back 17 figure, years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, you know, it really is, uh, you know, parenting is a crazy thing, right? It, 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 there's this, there's a line in, I think it's that Steve Martin parenthood. You got to have a license to drive a car. You got to have a license to do this. You have to, li have to have a license to catch a fish, but any idiot can have a child, you know? And so all of a sudden you're just given this child and like, okay, don't mess it up. Um, thankfully, you know, my parents, uh, live here. I'm, I came back to where I grew up and I had my parents, um, help, you know, uh, but I feel for those folks who have children who don't have any, have parents to, 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 you know, you can get on the phone with them, but still, I mean, to vent to and, and that kind of thing. And so with that first child, it's just like everything. Like I love watching your boys videos and I love what you've done with them because you know, we, with our first child, we didn't want him to bump his head or skin his knee. I mean, it was probably a little too much, you know, uh, where you let your kids, you know, jump around freely. And if they get hurt, as long as it's not a, a major injury, you just let them work it out, you know. Um, you know, we did even 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 things like the um, with our first child, we had a, a wipe warmer. That's a place where you put the wipes and it keeps them warm. So when mm -hmm. you change the baby's diaper, they don't get a cold wipe. And by the time yeah, they yeah, the second yeah. kid, we're like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, here's one that popped in my mind. We let my son sleep with us until he was way too old. And, and we learned that lesson with our second one. We never let her sleep with us. And in hindsight, I'm just telling you, if you don't want to go through uh, with both of our kids, we did not do pacifiers. We had, told people people had told us don't do it because you're giving them these crutches that are going to be impossible to break down the road 